my father, I talk about my father on stage a lot. And I feel like, you know, on stage, people don't know how much of the truth you're telling. I felt like I was validated. Yes. And I, and I wanted to share a little extra that I got from, I got a message. My father, he dates a lot. Yeah. He, you, he was a good looking man, still is for 71. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, but I got a message. I've never gotten this kind of message before. It said, You are so hilarious. That's great. And we'll end it there. That's where we're going to end it yeah. right there. No, I got it. said, You are so hilarious. I found you all performing a background check on your dad who asked me out. Suffice it to say, I did not date your dad, but I found one of the funniest comedians ever. Okay. So, so, so I go, oh, thank you so much. That's very nice. Then she said, I would love to tell you the story that he told me that had me in stitches, but kind of worried me. <laughs> I, said, I said, oh, I got to hear more. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very good looking man. Again, to reiterate, what's your question? You have a question? Yeah. Um, I mean, your dad... He dates, dated a lot. We know about the multiple marriages. Dated my kindergarten teacher. Yes. She, a cheater. Definitely yeah. a cheater. Italian, yeah. old school. Yeah, yeah. Old school cheater. Yeah, I don't he think you dated. get to say old school when you just non -ethical, mean Non-ethical, non-monogamy is what they call it back then. <laughs> Wait, he dated your kindergarten teacher while you were in kindergarten, or was it like later on? I, I don't know if it was official until I was in first grade, but definitely. So, wow. so, uh, so my mom. Oof. And she still didn't give him good grades. I know. <laughs> my mom got her fired. My mom always calls me because she actually listens. She corrects uh -huh. me. Yes. Basically, she, my mom says, allegedly, that the teacher would send love notes back to my father that she would send via lunchbox. What? So she, she put a message in my lunchbox to bring back to my father. I don't know if they were dirty or just like, love you. That's just hi. sloppy. It's sloppy, but she was so, so cool. And I remember she slept over at the house what? once, and no. I was like, what? Oh, "That's a cool thing." Wait a second. That's you were, not so, cool. Wait a second. So you were taking naps in her classroom, and she was taking naps at your <laughs> house. I don't know how much sleeping was going on. Oh my god! We did Halloween together, no. and she had a daughter who was my age. Oh, and I had a big crush on her daughter. Wow! And 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 it was. It was beautiful. This is messy. Phoebe, can I tell you something? Every time Gianmarco tells me a new layer of a story about his father or about his childhood, I go, oh, that's why you're like this. There are so many moments when I go, what are you so afraid? Oh, you're afraid of this. I feel like part of why I talk about my dad so much on stage is because I feel like if people know who he is, they'll realize how good I did considering the circumstances. <laughs> Do you talk about your dad in therapy? That's the more important thing. Like, are you in therapy? Because not to pass judgment, but this is some stuff that should probably be worked through yes. with a professional. Yeah, and the therapist says, that's great. <laughs> kindergarten teacher, just to close. I, I don't think it was as much him hooking up with the kindergarten teacher that was the problem. It was more like I became close to these women, mm -hmm. and then when they broke up, they were just... Banish yes. from my life. Yes, yes, yes. Banish. Yes. And there was one, I've, I've said it before, but when they broke up, they would have to have a secondary breakup with me. Mm -hmm. And I remember one woman, she sat me down. We played Monopoly a lot and brought me in the car. And she, I said, are we going to, she said, I'm going to be really busy at work. I don't think I'm going to be around as much anymore. Oh, and I no. said, can we still play Monopoly sometimes? And she was like, sure, kid. <laughs> and I never, no, I did see her again a year later with a new husband and a baby in her, in her arms. And where's your mom in all of this? She, she married my dad's <laughs> former lawyer. Gianmarco can't see a thimble to this day without crying. He <laughs> has it so rough. I will say this. I think that, like, these women kind of coming in and out of your life and the fact that, like, you had a bunch of you had a bunch of insecurities around a number of things when you were a child, things that we've talked about. Uh -huh. Like, that definitely has made you such a good performer. So I'm so happy. <laughs> I, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, so I asked this story, and, and again, she, she, she gave me permission to share this. My father does not listen, so it's okay. Uh, so, chapter one. Chapter one? Luckily, it's this one chapter. Okay. She said, earlier this year, I decided to try online dating for the first time in my life. Good for you. Because I was new at this, I, didn't have, I didn't, hadn't developed a sense of red flags. The first time I put my profile up, I got 500 replies in one day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay we get it, Damn. we get it. Mostly blocking, deleting. Then I came across your father's letter to me. I can't remember what he said, but it was charming and sweet. That's how he gets them. Wow. <laughs> That's how he gets them. So I decided to respond. Big mistake. 
His next missive to me complimented that I was successful in business. Wow. Wow, feminist. Hey. You, you hear that, Phoebe? That's what hey. these men do. They go after your brain. These love bombs. Um, yeah, imagine if a guy was yeah. like, Phoebe, I love your book so much. How are you? Like, just I wouldn't straight. believe that he read it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you didn't fucking read You'd it. You'd be like, nah, it's, um, hey. it's something about bell hooks, lowercase yeah. b. You know, I know <laughs> the stuff. Uh, he explained to me that his ex-wife and he's talking about my mom. They got divorced in fucking wow. 88. He doesn't say which ex-wife. He says his ex-wife. He's just yeah. compiling them. He explained to me that his ex-wife never appreciated how hard he worked. Oh, and boy. that she was a total bitch. No. No. no! And, a bit, and a bit of a Jap. Jewish American princess. Oh, Lord. Which, he's, how he, okay, so, but he's also saying this as an Italian man. He's not saying this as a Jewish man. Right. That's where I'm like, yikes. He can't say that. Yeah. Yeah. He my didn't mom, say it. He typed it. Yeah. <laughs> My mom, she's she's Jewish, but she's not like uh, Jap in the traditional like Long Island sense of yeah, 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 yeah. How can I say she's something? something? Can I say something that will definitely get me in trouble? How much David Yerman does she own? <laughs> I don't know, is it what reference is that? That's r- jewelry. Oh my God! These this is what happens with with boys. If Tova was here, Tova, Tova yes, would be laughing. Tova would get that. <laughs> uh, so normally I would just delete and block him at that point. <laughs> okay. okay, good for you. We should should have stopped right there. However, I was so stunned that he would say this to me. I decided to confront him about <laughs> it. Oh my <laughs> God! No, no, no. Ex- Don't give him an audience. Explain to him that he should not be talking about his ex pejoratively like that. And that I was Jewish and took offense <gasps> to that term. <laughs> oh my God. I was certain that he would be completely offended, but instead he wrote me a really lovely and apologetic letter. This, your dad is very good at nagging. Ladies, your dad just. If wow. men are good at apologies, it's because they've had a lot of practice. Ugh. Wait, can I see a picture of him? Can I say uh, something? Yeah, Phoebe, it, can I tell you something? This old picture of his dad, there are two of them that I've seen online. We're very close. Yeah, yeah. Both of them, he's a hot man. Okay. He's the reason John Marker can't. This is old school, but this is like Italian. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. so cute. Yeah. That's still the profile picture he's using. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, okay. <laughs> Do you have a, more, a, a closer to recent? Uh, yes, I, I will. Yeah. Just so we can see what's up. Yeah, let, let me get it. Let me get it because it is important. That's but bananas. This is the, can I tell you another wild story? There's a photo of Jean Marco's dad with this extremely hot woman that Jean Marco will every now and then like it'll pop up on social media. And it's just, it's just like hot, like very pretty woman with these, with amazing boobs. Yeah. And like Jean Marco's dad is like shirtless in the photo. And everyone's like, Jesus Christ, Jean Marco, your dad a pool. But then, <laughs> but then did I tell you that my mom told me one year she said, you know, you always post that picture. I'm pretty sure that's the woman your dad cheated on me with. And I was like, Mom. So but you mean, and you were like, Mom, which woman? Come on now. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, this is a so- somewhat recent. No, but I can see it. Yeah, he's still, I listen, for 70? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He's still got it. He's still got it. I can see, see, it. Can see it. Um, and, and he's, and you're only a little bit taller than him, right? Uh, yes, he's six two. Yeah, That's six two. Height. That means back in the day he was six four. Yeah, he was pulling for sure. Yeah, huge cock. Yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> no, no, quite, quite normal. Um, okay. I'm gonna leave. This no, is, no, 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 Phoebe. Is, I've been on HBO. Do we not know, understand <laughs> my card husband? <laughs> Phoebe. Also, this is us setting you up with Jean Marco's dad. I want you to know <laughs> where this is going. I was certain that he would be offended. Wrote a nice apology. Something to the fact of, I hope I didn't offend you, da, da, da. He told me that he worked in remediation, something I understood as well because I used to run trade for the Environmental Protection Agency. Seems like a perfect woman for my father. (sighs) He proceeds to tell me the story about how he was remediating a site where Dr. Fisher, Field Fisher, who's famous, had his first laboratory. He tells me that he found a bottle of arsenic written in Dr. Fisher's own handwriting. Uh, At this point, oh, she says, I hope I'm not offending you. I'm sure your dad is a character and your mom is a wonderful person. Okay, it's fine. Oh, wow. He then tells me that he wished he still had that bottle of arsenic. It sounds like it's a collector's okay. item, like a historical fact. Yeah. But he's pretty sure that he gave it to his ex-wife. He then explains he decided to give it to her in the divorce. Given all the things that he said about her earlier, I was convinced that he had killed her. <laughs> So I deleted and blocked him. It did not occur to me that she got it in the divorce as a collector's item. And then, then yeah, so he basically she sent me the screenshot where he, he says this, and she was just in the mood where when she saw it, thought he was like, 
I gave it to yeah. my ex-wife. <laughs> uh, I cannot remember, and this is what he texted her. I cannot remember what I did with it. It's gone missing for a long, long time. I'm thinking maybe I gave it to my ex-wife, but I'm not sure. Good night. Sleep well. That's and also what he said to your the ex-wife. And she said, I think it was the good night sleep well that really got me. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it all came. It just came. Oh it just my came into my God. inbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. dad's dating life. My mom's boyfriends are not writing me. Yeah. <laughs> and she's got plenty. Maybe they don't have Instagram accounts. Downside. You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Cerezi.